Okay. So that was disappointing. So on a typical day, I wake up around 8 to 8.30 in the morning, sometimes earlier. These days, I'm not as disciplined. Um, first thing I do is get my dose of ACV for the day. I mix a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with a glass of water and drink it on an empty stomach. I'm typically fasted, usually up to 18 hours beginning from the evening before. I will only start consuming calories or breaking my fast around 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. later. Then about 20 minutes later, I will get my coffee in. This is a must have. Sometimes I tend to skip my ACV because I either wake up later than usual or I'm just too lazy. Uh, but the coffee is an absolute must. I like freshly ground beans that I grind myself and prepare it in a French press. That is the way to go, I believe. Also, I can't really afford a fancy coffee machine, but the French press is still a great method, especially if you're not going to make an espresso and not so keen on the Americano style of adding hot water to espresso. I take my coffee black without adding anything else so as to be in a fasted state. I then go and find my spot outside, breathe in some fresh air, it does me real good, and I just enjoy my coffee out. I then go back upstairs to my room to check on my emails. I teach at a university and the whole of 2020 has just been online virtual classes. So I'm guessing it's going to be a lot the same for the better part of this year too. So I do have to get through quite a bit of emails and texts from my students. And if I'm not replying to emails, I'm preparing for my online classes. Once the coffee's settled a little, I'll do a little bit of yoga or mobility work. And you can see here, I'm working with a PVC pipe, uh, working on my shoulders. I used to be more consistent at it, if I'm honest, and I never skip it. But these days I do tend to limit my stretching and isometric work before a workout as a warm up a routine. Once yoga's out of the way, I take a shower and go down to prepare my first meal of the day. I'm making anabolic French toasts, courtesy of Greg Doucette's internet YouTube Insta famous recipe. Um, and trust me, you'll get hooked. It's so simple to make. Uh, the video link to the recipe is in the description below. It's what I normally eat and like to eat anyway. And what's so good about it is that it's so filling for the amount of calories you get to save on it. Four slices of these without any added condiments is below 500 calories. And as Greg would say, more anabolic than last time. It is loaded with protein from all the egg whites and you can even add protein powder if you want to. I decided to make it savory this time. The original recipe calls for added sweeteners, cinnamon, which you then eat with low calorie syrup. I like to switch it up sometimes. And it is good with Marmite as a savory meal. And I also like to add hot sauce and a dash of HP sauce too. After my meal, I take in my supplements. These are the only two I've been taking uh, for the past year. Curcumin extract in capsule form, which is great for muscle tissue repair or to help promote autophagy. The capsules are better than just consuming raw turmeric, in my opinion, because it's got enough of a dose of curcumin that you need with biopurin or biopurine, uh, which is an extract from black pepper that is necessary for optimal absorption. And then I take my omega-3 capsules. I take the supplement because I do lack that nutrient from my whole foods. Otherwise, I only depend on whole foods for most of my nutrition. So here you can see me parked and it's almost 5 p.m. Um, in the basement of my condo and I was planning to go for a swim because it was going to be a cardio day for me today but uh, little did I know that I was going to be in for a bit of a, a disappointment right so I, I get up to uh, where the swimming pool is and yeah it's just not open so it was a rather quick one and I had to just head back home Okay, so 
that was disappointing and rather anticlimactic. Um, I was really looking forward to a nice swim uh, late this afternoon. The weather's really nice out. Um, it's really cool. Just, you know, not too hot, not too cold, not much of a breeze, just nice. And well, the pool's closed um, indefinitely, at least from what I've been told by the management just now. Um, so they've, they've, they've closed off the pool because they um, are concerned about the increasing uh, number of, of uh, infections here, COVID-19 infections here, and, uh, where, where my condo is. And so it's closed. So, um, you know what? Instead of lamenting and not doing anything about it, what I'll do is I'll go back, uh, take a breather for a bit, um, maybe have a snack or even have my dinner first. And then instead of doing cardio, what I'll do is I'll just go back to the good old weights and do strength training. I think I'm going to focus on my upper back. All right. Here I'm making my protein ice cream, which I'm going to have as a snack and I'm making enough of it so that I can keep it in the freezer so that I don't have to keep making it again and again for my other uh, snack and meal times. Uh, the recipe for this uh, is actually in one of my videos um, titled a frozen yogurt or froyo um, because essentially it is made with frozen yogurt and in, in, in the recipe in my video you will see that I use uh, exactly the same ingredients that I'm using here. So for this particular snack, um, I only had about 300 calories worth, I guess. It wasn't even a cup, so it was probably less than 300 calories here. So it's almost quarter to seven, and here I'm making my dinner. And if you haven't noticed already, I'm making myself a hamburger. Um, this isn't normally what I would eat. Um, as it's really high in calories and high in fat. Uh, but because I haven't been snacking throughout the day and, and I've been at quite a big calorie deficit in the last few days, so um, it kind of balances out in the end, really. And, you know, once in a while, I get to treat myself with a really nice meal like this. I was contemplating, actually, to just go over to um, the McDonald's drive through and get myself you know, a, a Big Mac or a quarter pound or something like that. But um, I managed to talk myself out of it and figured that uh, my own my own homemade hamburgers uh, with my own homemade buns, OK, as you can see here, uh, are way better and much more superior than any fast food joint. So usually by 7 p.m. I'm already having dinner and I do tend to have dinner pretty early and have it as soon as possible. One, because I'm intermittent fasting pretty much on a daily basis. And two, I've got a workout coming up later in the night. So I do want to make sure that my food is all digested and stays down. I don't want to work out with a full stomach with food still lingering in my stomach so I want to make sure that um, I get to a enjoy my food and let it digest and I get to enjoy my diet Pepsi with my meal as well again this is zero calories and it's just the better option 
So in between after my dinner and before my workout, I just try and relax a little bit. And here you can see I'm just putting my feet up and watching Orange is the New Black for the 10 millionth time. Usually because I just don't know what else to watch. Everything else is boring or just I can't be bothered. So I tend to stick to the ones I know. So it's almost three hours after my dinner and you can see that I've already started my workout focusing on my upper back here. Um, I start with compound movements such as the uh, pull up here you can see um, with a supinated grip that tends to engage your biceps a little bit more. Then I change my grip to the pronated grip and I start with the scapula uh, pulls before I do the actual pull ups. I, I still need assistance from um, the band because I can't quite get all of my body weight up. Um, and so, yeah, there's nothing wrong with using the bands. And then um, all my other exercises a little bit more isolated, although I would say that this one is still considered a compound movement. Again, focusing on the back and some engagement of the biceps here as well. In between, I try to get in some cardio. You can see here, um, just trying to get my heart rate up because especially when I'm doing um, the upper body, uh, you're not gonna burn as many calories. Um, so, you know, in between, um, if you can, um, squeeze in a little bit of cardio, which I yeah. do tend to do. After the workout, it's time for my creatine dose and I'm currently on 5 to 10 milligrams daily. Um, it does tend to go up to 10 mg's on days where I have a strength training like today um, and it's just really good for muscle repair and recovery. Um, I normally take it immediately after the workout well within the anabolic window. So by 11 p.m. I've already showered and just pretty much ready to turn in and call it a day. Well, this is it. This has been a day in my life and what I eat in a day too, I guess. Um, it's quarter past 11 at night and a little bit past my bedtime and I'm about ready to turn in. It's been quite a productive day and I'm glad I got my workout in. You just have to make sure you keep yourself motivated and determined to achieve your goals no matter what. Until next time, see you guys.